The Destiny community has cried for nerfs uh, since the beginning of time, okay? It seems like we like to nerf things, um, but I want to talk about what is overpowered in a video game and, and what, unfortunately, Destiny has done uh, and, and the player base has done victimizing, I'm going to say that word, I'm going to say victimizing weapons in this game. Now, if you look at some of these shots with the Saladin's Vigil, you could call this gun OP. Oh my god, look at, what, what the fuck, look at this, how do you counter this? It's unbelievable, this gun is overpowered! But, that's not really the case. Yeah, man, Saladin's Vigil with this roll, whoo, that thing is good, dude. That thing is so good, dude. But it's not OP, it's not overpowered because there's still counterplay. Um, there's charge time to it, there's inconsistency in the bullets. There are multiple things that can go wrong when using a fusion rifle. Uh, you know, it's got one of the highest commitment times of the game because not only are you charging it up, but once you let those bullets fly, you have a long time before you can shoot it again. So if you don't kill the guy in the first try, you probably died. There is some risk and reward with a fusion rifle. It means that it isn't 100% overpowered and gonna win in every single situation. Now, one of the only guns that I can think of in the game that was full-on OP, overpowered, needed to be nerfed, was the Vex Mythoclast. Because I had one of the first Vex Mythoclasts in the game. I could run into Rumble, and I could almost every single time I used the gun go on a 15 to 20 kill streak in that game. Because it was so good at dueling that if you didn't have the Vex Mythoclast, you could not duel it. You could not beat it. It was so good that if someone shot you in the back two times with a hand can in the body or one in the head, one in the body, you could still turn around and duel him and trade. It killed so quickly and even at such a large range that if you weren't using Vex against Vex, you were going to lose that game. It was, it was dumb. Now, that's a gun that lacked counterplay. It had so much damage. It had so much dueling potential that, as I said before, you needed to have the same weapon to counter it. Now, if you look at something like the Thorn back in the day, I still wouldn't consider it 100% OP, needing a nerf, needing a massive change, because there were other guns that could compete. Up close, he had the last word. Even at a distance, Hawkmoon could outduel the last word, sorry, the Thorn. Now, you might die a couple seconds later to the burn, and the burn has power in itself, but what I'm trying to get here is guns are not OP because they fucking kill you, okay? A gun is not OP because someone is able to outduel you and beat you in a rumble game or a control game or Trials of Osiris, which I think is the biggest problem for balance in this game. And I really, really want to just dive into this. And I'm going to kind of roast some people. And I'm sorry, but we're going to do it. We've nerfed snipers we've nerfed shotguns we've nerfed no land beyond listen just listen to that what i just said here we nerfed no land beyond which was the biggest joke in destiny pvp for the longest time and i think we nerfed it because of trials of osiris in a lot of cases because people sit and hard scope and people get frustrated when they die to the same gun and they see it popping up time and time again in year one, you would die to the thorn all the time in trials, and you'd be pissed off and sad because, oh, fuck, he two tapped me, and you'd have to watch yourself burn out, and then you'd be out and sitting there for the rest of the round waiting to play again, and it was frustrating. And yes, thorn was amazing. It was fantastic overall as a gun, that's why everyone used it, but people got more and more and more frustrated as they continued to die to it in trials. Now, the same thing happened with sniper rifles, the thousand yard stare, because people were such pussies in Trials of Osiris. I don't blame them, it's the way you play the game mode, but everyone was hard scoping with thousand yard stare. You die to it enough, you start calling it OP, you start complaining on the forums, and the gun gets nerfed. Now, I understand that there's data that supports it. If everyone in the game is using a thorn, yeah, man, it must be strong or too strong or it needs to be tuned in some way. But a lot of the complaints that happen are unjustified, in my opinion. Right now, there's people complaining on the forums about necrochasm. Necrochasm! 
You're kidding me, there's no way that the Necrochasm is OP. I'm talking overpowered and without counterplay. There's no fucking way an auto rifle is that good. Or else you would see people in the sweaty community, in the tournament community, using this gun. You'd see people using it in trials because, well, there's no counterplay. It's the best gun in the game. You can't outduel the Necrochasm. But there's a problem here because you can, because the gun isn't even that good. But people die to it a couple of times, most likely to a good player, and they call it OP. Or you run into a situation like the No Land Beyond, where people are hard scoping their dicks off in Trials of Osiris, you continue to die to it, and you call it OP. That gun is not OP! It's never been OP. There might have been some issues with the flinch, but if you look at the core mechanics of the gun, the reload speed, the aimability, the usability, the versatility of this gun, it is not overpowered you can punish it. If you miss a shot, you are down and out unless you do the reload glitch. And even then, it still is not a super, super effective weapon compared to any other sniper in the game. No Land Beyond has its niche, but the gun isn't OP. Yet there are still people fucking complaining about guns like the No Land Beyond even after the nerf they just did to the stability or the, the flinch or whatever you want to call it. It's mind-blowing. It's mind-boggling. Just because a player is fantastic and can kill you with the Mida multi-tool does not make the Mida multi-tool overpowered. Just because you can't outduel the king of PvP as he dominates you in Rumble doesn't mean that this red IS Luna is overpowered. There are other guns that can compete with it and duel with it. And if you jump into a lobby with Luminosity who's using an IS Luna and he destroys you, it most likely isn't because of the gun. It's because his mobility, his aim, and his absolute dominance in PvP skill is what's winning him the game more than anything else. You could give him a wet banana and he would beat you. So you can't call the gun OP. It's the fucking player half the time. I know. I'm ranting, I'm salivating, I'm getting excited. I'm just getting tired of all these babies that can't handle dying to someone that most likely outdueled them, outstrafed them, or outsmarted them. Because we all know that a big brain is the best tool for winning PvP. Or no land beyond because that shit's broken, nerf it, Bungie! Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see a funny video from me, click the video on the left or the right. And Scuff just came out with some fantastic new controllers. If you want 5% off at checkout, use code MTASHED. Yep, yeah, I'm a sellout.